Carolina Week Sports. Forget this Butch Davis era. This is the Sarah Moore era. The 2007 Carolina football team suits up this Saturday against James Madison at Keenan. Mackenzie Hamrick has a preview of the beginning of the Butch Davis era. As day rolls into night on Saturday, the Heels will take the field for the first game of the season. It will be the first college game for more than half of the players on the roster. Can these young guys stay put together in front of a sold out crowd at Keenan? Some guys, uh, you hope, don't get stage fright. You hope that, uh, uh, that the youth and the inexperience of it, that they'll calm down. Uh, hopefully some of the seniors will, will make that transition. Having some of the 10 seniors on the team take a leadership position is crucial. For guys like senior defensive tackle Kentuan Balmer, being vocal is easy. The football part is easy because we spend so much time together off the field, it makes it easy to communicate and get along on the field when things aren't going as well. So that, that, that role is easy. And plus, I got guys like Holly Taylor and Andreas Guy, the real map that helped me fill that role. Guys like Taylor and Guy help complete a solid defensive front, along with newcomer Marvin Austin. It's up to these guys to anchor the rest of the defense. On the other side of the trenches, the offensive line is full of returning players. Senior center Scotty Linehan holds the middle, and he and his line mates have a simple goal. First and foremost, usually in most games we're going to try to run the ball and uh, establish the run and then you know pass off of that, do play action, things like that. The Hills have really picked up the pace this summer at camp, working hard and preparing for one of the most anticipated seasons. There are still a lot of questions about this team. Maybe some of them will be answered this Saturday. In Chapel Hill, I'm Mackenzie Hamrick, Carolina Week Sports. The women's volleyball team is off to a good start after the first weekend of play. The Heels won the UB Classic. Now it's back to Carmichael Gym for another week of work. The Heels will have a chance to prove themselves on their 2 and one record Friday night. This weekend, the team will play in the mortarboard premiere at Purdue. Coach Joe Segula says the Heels feel good headed into this weekend's tournament. We'll use, use that as some confidence for the team going into this weekend, feeling that we are a solid program and that we are going to compete hard and that this, uh, this coming weekend we're going to have some tougher challenges, though, but we have to play together as a team to be successful. Last preseason, the UNC women's soccer team was ranked number six by Soccer Buzz magazine, leading people to worry that the Tar Heel dynasty was crumbling. But after their 18th national championship last year, the Tar Heels have the bullseye on their backs yet again. Despite being ranked number one by Soccer Buzz to start the season, the skies aren't necessarily Carolina blue over Fetzer Field. Injuries to several starters, as well as the graduation of Libby Guess and Heather O'Reilly, have left Anson Durrance with what he calls masking tape chewing gum lineups. The first game is September 1st at noon against South Carolina. It's a big weekend for Tar Heel sports. In addition to the women's soccer and football games, the men's soccer team will host the Nike, Carolina Nike Classic. Our undefeated field hockey team takes on Wake Forest Friday and JMU Sunday. The cross country team's first and only meet in Chapel, meet in Chapel Hill this season is Saturday morning. Well, it sounds like the, like the women's soccer team has really been working hard and I think there are a lot of girls who are willing to step up and. Absolutely, and I'm hoping that we can see, you know, if you go out to the field out there and you see all the years where they've won the national title, it's a lot of them, and I'd love to see uh, this year be one of them. Definitely. Absolutely, Sarah, Thank thanks. You. Thank you, Sarah. One sport that gets a lot of attention around here is race car driving. You know, in the past, you didn't have to go all the way to Charlotte for a race. That's right. Coming up next, we'll take you to a place where history lives on despite Mother Nature. <laughs> 